to be about liquid lipsticks or lip glosses you know lip lacquers and all that good stuff so if you guys are like me and you've been checking out all these companies on Instagram you see that a lot of companies if not most have come out with some sort of liquid lipstick or lacquer or a, a cream a lip cream of, of some sort so I have noticed that a lot of people complain about the patchiness of it and not being able to rock the colors or rock the lipsticks period so I thought it would be nice to do a how-to video on how to actually wear this um, lips liquid lipsticks or lip creams or whatever and the best ways to kind of apply them and have the best color payoff and kind of smoothness of these products so the first thing I would recommend before even attempting to go near a liquid lipstick cream or whatever the case may be will be to make sure you exfoliate your lips every single time you want to wear a liquid lipstick or a liquid lip cream or even a gloss I'll say you should exfoliate and moisturize your lips the reason being is because most of these products settle in between the lines and ridges we have normally on our lips so it will be a lot worse for it to then settle on cracks but it just, just doesn't look cute so the best thing is to exfoliate every single time and make sure you moisturize constantly because these products most of them are drying and some of them will just stay in the lines so I have gone ahead and already exfoliated my lips before making this tutorial and I will go ahead and take off the product I've got on my lips and then we can start off with the different types of lip, liquid lipsticks and how you can apply them. I can also do a video on lipsticks itself, on how to wear lipsticks and what kind of lip pencils you should use for what kind of finish and what kind of glosses you can use on what kind of finish because as you guys know there's so many types of lipsticks. We have frost we have amplified, we have matte lipsticks, we have cream sheen, we, we have so many types of lipsticks so if you'd like me to do a video on how to wear the different types of lipsticks that I own, I own quite a lot so I can do a good lengthy video on that, I'd like you to leave a comment in the description box and I will do that next. So let's get right into this video. So before we kick things off, I'm going to go ahead and moisturize my lips again and I'm using the Satin Lips Lip Balm from Mary Kay. They also have a, an exfoliating lip cream you can use as well. So I'm going to start off with the driest formula. So we have liquid lipsticks that dry off to a matte finish so those are the most drying and then there are liquid lacquers that are kind of wet and don't completely dry off to a matte finish those ones shift the liquid lipsticks that dry off to a matte finish most of them don't shift but then there's some products some companies that have not perfected that formulation so it still shifts and then we have some lip creams that are like basically like if you melt a lipstick that's what it would be exactly so they're still as moisturizing as the lipstick would be but they come in a cream um, formulation and then you have the lip stains so those ones are I I'm not 
I don't really like the lip stains because I like to change up my lipsticks during the day so I find that when I take it off obviously it does its job it stains the lips so I really don't go for that as much and then we have the glossy kind of lip product so I'm going to kick things off with the driest which is the liquid matte lipsticks that dry off to a completely matte finish I'm going to be lining my lips with MAC Chestnut first and then I'm going to be filling it in with the Jeffree Star Celebrity Skin Liquid Velour Lipstick. So what I tend to do is fill out the edge of my lips and then fill in my lips and then go over with the liquid lipstick. I tend to do this for shades that are a little lighter and also for the matte finish because I, I know I'm wearing a, um, a lip gloss but I still want some sort of barrier away from the liquid lipstick because it dries really really matte and I find that using a pencil really changes up the color which is quite nice and also lets it last a little longer so if you've got a liquid lipstick that dries matte but it still shifts you can try using a pencil underneath and see if that makes any difference And I'm being careful not to go outside the edges of my lip and just filling it in within the lips and kind of following the natural contours of my lips. So with this formula I tend to leave it for like a few seconds to dry and then I'll fill it over again and then that would be the color pale. Once that has been applied, I tend to go over the edges with either my concealer or my foundation and then give it a couple more seconds for it to completely dry out and then put my highlighter as I always do on my cupid's bow. So this is the final look and that is with chestnut lip pencil underneath and celebrity skin on top. So if you're my skin tone, this is the best way I think. To wear celebrity skin I mean there are other ways but I really really love this nude color so now I'm going to apply a liquid lipstick that dries matte without any base or liner just to show you how to apply it without a liner so I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipstick in vintage so the trick with applying uh, the liquid lipsticks without a liner or a guide or anything is to take little strokes at a time start with your bottom lip and then mark out your top lip and build it up so give it a couple of seconds to dry in between and then put on another layer if you keep packing it on while it's still wet it's just gonna be like a gloss and keep shifting and then you might have little cracks so it's always better to do the layer let it dry and then do another layer I'm gonna let it dry and then I'm gonna do another coat. This is actually just one dip and this is a full pale so I really think these Anastasia Beverly Hills are quite pigmented. I think the darker colors are a lot more pigmented than the lighter ones. But it looks really good for one swipe so I'm gonna wait for it to dry a little bit and then go over it and clean out my edges with concealer or foundation and put on my highlight and then show you guys that. So this is vintage, this is the completed look from Anastasia Beverly Hills, it is really really pretty, this is actually the first time I'm trying it.
So we're gonna get into the wetter formulation. So these ones are the lip lacquers that don't dry matte, they're still wet. And these are, this one is a lip lacquer from Ruby Kisses in Sexy Red. And these formulations are also lacquers, but they, as I said, they don't dry matte. So I will be applying one with a liner and one without, just to show you how to apply the ones that are a little wetter in formulation and oops, yeah let's do that sorry it's a brand new one I haven't opened it so I'm going to line my lips with MAC red and then fill it out with the lacquer formulation it's a lot easier to blend I only needed one dip into the tube so once that's done I'm gonna clean off the corners and clean up my edges with some concealer and this is what it looks like Now I'm going to wear the, another lip lacquer without um, a lip liner as a guide. So basically the trick to these ones is the same thing, apply the lower bottom first and then the top, but take your time and use the tip of the applicator. They're really really good so make sure you use the very tip to line the top of your lip. And always moisturize your lips before you apply any lip product. Because of the swatches, I'm not doing that, okay? That is gorgeous, that one. And I'm not dipping back and forth into the tube. I'm basically using what's on the wand. Now all this is just one, like I didn't go back into the two, this is just one, so you only ever need one. And once that's done, for bold colours I always recommend that you use a concealer or foundation to clean off the edges just to give it that sharper, cleaner look. This is what it looks like. Excuse if it looks a little sloppy. You know I'm doing a lot of swatches. And this one is called Orange Coral and it's from Ruby Kisses as well. So those are the wet lip lacquers. So now I have a lip cream which is to me is like a lipstick completely melted down into a tube. So this one is from NYX and it's called Soft Matte Lip Cream in Copenhagen. And it's this gorgeous purple color. And I'm going to fill in my lips with MAC um, Night Moth Lip Pencil and then go over it with the lip cream. Same process as I've done in the other one. So there's nothing different with this one. And this will help the lip cream last a little longer than it would normally. And the reason why I'm using a liner for this formulation is because it is a little bit patchy when you apply it directly. I find that with these ones you have to really pile it on. So I tend to use a lip pencil to already give that base. And then this sits right on top of it. And this is what it looks like. So you can tell that it's already a little bit patchy. It will dry, not completely matte, but it will 
get dry a little bit more and then you can go ahead and apply another layer so imagine if the pencil wasn't underneath it would be quite patchy so this is Night Moth and Copenhagen from NYX and now I'm going to try on the lip stain which is the Velour Galore Mongolian lip product in ladylike a lip stain so these are the matte lip stains that um, over time it kind of like changes the color on your lips so it just stains the color just stains the lips so I'm going to be applying this without any liner so you don't really need that if it's already going to stain your lips So this is what it looks like and it dries down to a really matte finish and kind of like a stain. These shift for me, they don't uh, stay on the lips completely. I find that they wear off over time so you do need to reapply these. Now this is why I'm not really a fan of lip stains, like it just stains your lips and I like to change my lipstick during the day but yeah. So the next two are liquid form of lipsticks. So this one is the Makeup Revolution Lip Laver and it's a liquid lipstick. And then I've got the LA Girl Lip Paint uh, in, what's this one, Bombshell. So. So you just want to press it a little bit and then you can see a little comes out of the tube. Work with that and then press some more. And you can apply these on its own or you can use a lip pencil which will make it last a little longer. This one packs a lot of shine to it. It does feel quite nourishing. I feel my lips feel a lot um, moisturized and quite nice. Maybe because it has vitamin E in it, which is quite good. So I really, really like these from um, Makeup Revolution. So these are really, really good and really pretty. Like it's super glossy, but it's not like sticky, it's just gorgeous. <music> So yeah, these ones stain a little bit as well. So we're going to move on to the last one, which is the glazed lip paints from LA Girl. There was a time when everyone was going crazy for these. And these are like glosses to me. They're like glosses, but really, really pigmented glosses. So I'm going to fill in my lips with NYX Purple Rain and then fill this on top because it's quite a sharp color and I don't think it really suits me without a, a lip pencil plus the lip pencil will make it last a little longer so I'm going to go ahead and fill in my lips and then use a lip brush to apply <laughs> that I get more control if I use a lip brush you can use the mouth of the, of the thing but I find that if you just apply way too much product so I tend to use a lip brush for this product <music> So basically that is all the types of liquid lip product that I have aside from glosses obviously. Um, you can combine these formulas so something like the liquid lipstick that dries matte you can play with the different colors just to switch it up or give it a new kind of you know inspired color made by you 
um, the liquid form of the lipsticks that don't dry are a lot easier to mix in terms of colors and they are glossier so kinder on your lips than the drying ones so I will say definitely do play around with these products they're amazing and you can get different bargains from drugstores to higher end to medium end if that makes any difference so if you guys want to see the different types of lipsticks in terms of finishes you can go ahead and leave a comment in the description in the comment box and I'll get to that other than that if you enjoyed this video please go ahead and give it a thumbs up my lips are hurting so a thumbs up would really help and make sure you share comment and subscribe and I will catch you guys in my next video